Would you say that Valley's the strong favourite for the women's? Do you think it's her title to to clearly defend? Yeah, I, I'd say if yes, just not picking up any injuries and having a long, strong off season, um, going to the Southern Hemisphere and in the south of France, won a race last weekend. Um, it's uh, she as as we saw towards the end of last year, she didn't have to like sort of win the race to keep the series hers. You know, she she never really had that threat, um, and she was for the first time sort of okay with getting a third or, or a second because um, she'd got over those, like the only time before she wouldn't sort of win was when she crashed. And then there was a couple of instances last season where she had a sort of, she had a, a normal race run and just didn't take the win, um, not having to push as hard. So she's figured a way to sort of maybe um, do go for the bigger picture too and, and get the, um, the overall. Uh, but, you know, for sure, she's a threat for the overall and the and the rainbow jersey, um, like yeah. sort of a, a an easy call, which I guess you could say is similar to to Loic now. Um, but then you've also got Gloria is a new upcomer. And are we talking about the women's yet, Andrew? Why not? You guys go yeah. at it. I mean, you've segued into it. Uh, I was going to ask Alan. Yes, Valley, I think, is the, the clear favorite on, on paper. New team going back to YT. There's a new bike there that's under wraps. Um, I, I think it would be silly not to put your money on that. And then my question that is then who is the next uh, below that that can sort of challenge her? Is, are we going to have to say Nina because there's less question marks? We know where she's at. We know she won a race. We know she's been on the podium. She's getting more and more experience and comfortable on that team. Or are we going, let's throw the question marks there. Cammy, can she bounce back? How, how is her health and sort of mental sort of resilience after that horrific crash? Miriam, huge question mark. You know, we know she's got the experience. So who do you have yeah. sort of that can <clears throat> contend against someone like Valley? We're having... Having Fort William as round one, I th it, obviously Nina's, Nina's won there and it will be a strong track for her. So I think that the way the series is, uh, the way the calendar is, it works well for her. So I think Nina would go into this thinking, right, I can beat everyone here and I can start off strong. And obviously if you start off strong, then it give, it builds that confidence that you can do that. Um, I think there are these question marks and um, some of the girls coming back from injury and Miriam clearly has the speed and the skill to do it but has been off for quite a while and I wonder how long it would take her to get comfortable because my feeling is that the girls field in terms of their speed the speed and the depth of the field is constantly in increasing and probably at a faster rate than the men's obviously that the men's field is so deep and going so quick I think it's hard to get into the men's field but I think for a for the women's field, it seems to just be getting faster and faster. And I think if you if you get off that train because of injury, then it might be a little bit harder to jump back on that train with there, there only being 10 places available. And Phoebe, uh, she put in an absolutely stonking time at the, at the National at the weekend and, and she's really developing and coming through. So I think she might be someone to keep an eye open for. Um, Tane, obviously, I've, I got the feeling... And I, again, Sven, it'd be interesting because you're on the ground at Hardline, I think, what what the feeling was for someone like Tane, because I, with these big jumps and her getting to grips with it, she seems to be someone that it takes her a little while to get comfortable and go, right, I'm now ready to go. And then when it all clicks, she's really, really good. And do you think that Hardline was a step in the right direction in that, in that respect? Yeah, I think um, the Hardline Tasmania course was a bit closer to sort of take out the massive uh, jumps as, aside and features. It's a little bit more close to a regular Daniel World Cup racetrack. Um, so there was a lot of that as well. And I think when you've done some, any of the ones, any of the girls that have done something like Hardline or Darkfest or if, like Tan is exa exactly what you've said. It is, there's a, like already a massive weight reduced off her shoulders. And, and you know, I was like questioning like, She's also been injured and she's got injured jumping big jumps at the beginning this time last year. I was like, is it the smart thing to do? But I think in retrospect, just what you said, it's it just, it just going to help her and she's just going to start 
practice day one fast and there's not going to be a sort of a feature on any course that's going to intimidate her so she can f- get cracking straight into the racing and the racing line and the race speed and the pace um so yeah tane unfortunately pom pom was getting back after such a long break and then just did a little uh, ligament in a thumb which is not a serious one but it does also mean you know arm strength and grip strength on a long rough track like Fort William as a first race back, not, not, not ideal. So you got to say maybe for the first round, at least that it's going to be, um, Marine who was like at the fastest towards the end of last year, Nina and Valley, it's going to be sort of those three. And then you're going to have, um, man, there's quite a lot of others that can fill up the other two slots on the, on, on the podium. Obviously, obviously then you've got, you know, Kami, Tane, um, Pom Pom. Um, and then I was looking at some wild cards, Gloria, which came more from the Endura side, and she did downhill at the end of last year, I think it was. And um, I wouldn't be surprised to see her on the podium, if not right away, but she's a super strong, comes from track back in the day, and um, strong, powerful, you know, rider that's going to focus more on downhill than Enduro this year, um, the Canyon Pirelli squad. Um, and then did we have any juniors stepping up into elite while well, we've got Gracie still? Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think, man, the, the whole women's progression from dark fest, hard line, crank work, slope style has yeah. been amazing. And, and, um, as you said, like the, the rate of improvement of women, Alan, compared to men is at a, a quicker rate and, and the same can be seen in sort of skateboarding and surfing as well. And, um, yeah, agreed. I mean, I think what Alan said about Nina, I mean, this really could be a great way to start the season at Fort William. And you could see how dedicated she was to getting a race run at Fort William at Worlds because she knew she'd won there before. But I do think, um, and I mentioned her earlier, so I almost forgot, actually forgot, Loic, I purposely didn't mention. <laughs> Marine Cabaru actually is my sort of danger person. I think with two wins last year and all those injuries and then forcing herself to try be a little bit more patient about her racing and i was at a lot of those races and in the tent and seeing her work up to now notching off two wins like the momentum's also back on her side 